I'm Janice Thai and I teach fourth grade at Snow Creek Elementary. I have a heterogeneous mixed classroom, uh, all different abilities. Today we differentiated by having students work in teams um, with different abilities. They were working with a partner. We were all discussing the activity and discussing strategies um, of ways to solve multiplication problems two digit by two digit using the base 10 blocks. Um, and we reversed those roles. Partners who were writing or manipulating the blocks first, then their neighbor got to do that um, the next round. And so the classroom is organized into teams, and we use that to motivate students to help and encourage each other, and also to remain on task and to work toward a goal, a learning goal and by the end of class they should have been able to accomplish the learning goal with the help of each other's uh, team work. The students were required to make an area model using the base 10 blocks to uh, construct a multiplication problem. First we started by constructing a multiplication problem two digit by one digit which was a review from the day before and they made two rows of 13 and they had to build 13 using a rod and three units and then another row of a rod and three units to form 13 times 2 to see those numbers actually being multiplied and to formulate their answer. After the students constructed the area model they could see that there were two groups that were formed. There were a group of rods and a group of units and they found another multiplication problem within the problem. The problem was 10 times 2, which they know is 20, and they can also see it visually with the two rods, 10, 20. Then the 3 times 2 problem um, with the units, 3 across and then 2 down as an array, 3 times 2, which they've learned from the previous year, would be 6. Then they saw that together they could combine the answer to solve the entire multiplication problem, uh, 20 plus 6 would be 26. So together these parts equaled 130. 130. Now, I'm, if, if I were taking a test and I didn't have these base 10 cubes to use, then I might draw a picture. And next to yours, or if you need to erase something to give yourself some room, I want you to try to draw what we just did. So you would draw something like this. First watch me before you do anything. Watch me first as up here. You would draw it like this. Now, you would just draw a square for the flat, like that, okay? Then you would draw your rods just using these lines, all right? Then you could group it like I did when we went to solve it and say this is worth 30, this is worth 100, 100 plus 30 equals 130. Okay, let's do right, that. See if you can draw it this time. Yeah, that's how you do Yeah. There you go. Mariah, who was involved in the Longwood Master's Program, helped to plan with me and my partner, and we started planning from the, uh, the uh, idea that we would start the students learning about multiplication using concrete materials, then moving to a pictorial, and then finally being able to multiply numbers using um, the abstract with the actual numbers. I have used these strategies in classrooms before, but Mariah helps us by helping to facilitate these types of activities by giving us tips, by giving us um, ideas and how to lead students from their prior knowledge and then working their way to build up to our learning goal. The kids are absolutely more involved, they're more engaged, they're more interested in learning about it. They are understanding the concept of multiplication better because of it. Mrs. Bob, you gave me an idea. 
Like, you gave me an idea. What a concept. We can clean and steady you in like, all of our rooms. So can you solve it that way? Oh, uh -huh. good job. Can you find the good product? Job. 30. Oh, my God. What's, the, what's the product Mark. of the whole entire oh, multiplication so, problem? Well, we can do oh, 30. So, all right, now we need to do it. Yeah, you have to get 100 and I'll get these hundreds. I think you guys have it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want Let's see. Let me get, get us a napkin. Using the manipulatives has been a good way to informally assess the students um, by checking their knowledge of the concept of multiplication, making sure that they have 10 groups of 12 or 12 groups of 13, and be, being able to organize their base 10 blocks and construct an uh, area model using the base 10s to show uh, multiplication being done. So that has, that has helped us to assess their uh, conceptual knowledge of multiplication instead of just going through the steps and be able, being able to come to a final answer.